how do you remove an IV from your arm by yourself? Now, I don't normally recommend this, but I'm a plastic surgeon, we do a lot of IVs, and sometimes you could be in a situation where you want to actually remove the IV yourself. It's kind of a neat little skill to have, okay? Um, again, I, I don't recommend you do this unless you're a medical professional, but if there's an emergency situation where you need to remove your IV, it's actually pretty simple, and I'm gonna go through the steps. So first thing you wanna do is clamp your tubing, okay? Sometimes that's a little slider like this, right? And you wanna clamp that, or it's a little roller thing, you wanna clamp that and stop it. I'm actually gonna run this down just a little bit more because I have a little more fluid in my IV. I did a uh, medical IV, a vitamin IV, um, and that really helped rejuvenate me. The next thing you wanna do is start removing all the little plastic stuff, okay? And you wanna kinda gently peel that back. It's gonna pull your hair. You may wanna go fast, um, but um, that's the next step you're gonna do. You're gonna remove that little plastic stuff, and then remember, that's not a needle, it's a little plastic tube that's inside. And so when you're ready to go that, clamp off your, the remainder of your flow, okay? So that it doesn't continue to flow out of the IV and make a mess. Take a little bit of gauze. And if you look really closely here, you can see the IV there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it out. With one hand here, and then I'm gonna put pressure right there. And that's it. Keep this control of this little tip here so that uh, you don't really make a big mess. And keep pressure on this one spot. You could put a Band-Aid on this one spot over here if you like. Um, I like to hold a little gauze and then um, actually just remove the gauze when it's ready versus peeling off a Band-Aid. 